Some of you may know that I've made fight scenes in projects such as the Festival of Oka Finale and Karma's Kaiju, and what I really love about making these is how they expand my creativity. Just having two sides of opposition where they beat each other to death is what truly fills my heart with joy, along with my bed. And you may ask, Beans, that must take ages to figure out what types of moves they do, the camera angles, and everything else. No, 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 shut up. In reality, I just get a vague idea of what happens in my head, choose some music to go along with it, and get a background and just YOLO it. I literally made the Festival of Oka fight scene within two days, and mind you, it wasn't even in the script or something that I needed to do, but I did it anyway and won the season. Ha! Suck it! Suck it, Robber so Fight scenes and object shows aren't limited to many rules, and you can use this to your advantage. For example, Gun, who is literally a gun, could produce bullets at will, and he could shoot or use it as a weapon. Punches and kicks are cool and all, but what extended the limits of making fight scenes were the introduction of elemental powers. Supernatural powers that you would see in comics and movies are very imaginative ways for all kinds of movies and techniques you can include in fight scenes. A good example is Well or Dr. White from Karma's Kaiju. If you look at both of them on your own, you wouldn't expect them to have powers, unlike characters such as Icicle or Slime. Despite giving them powers when you totally don't need to, you can make them more fun for the viewers to watch, as it gives them a bit of a shock factor. When animating these scenes, I took inspiration from shows like The Legend of Korra, and Avatar The Last Airbender. These shows took martial arts styles and mixed them with the four natural elements, water, earth, fire and air, and executed these perfectly by mostly following my personal belief of animation in fight scenes, having a small charge, showcasing the preparation of the move, and having a quick jab for the movement. It lets the viewer embrace the abstract poses and also add energy to the movement, unlike a certain film. Come on boys, let's go take the city at down. <laughs> We gotta go ball. Think of it like breaking a pencil. Wait, 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 wait what, what are you doing? Wait, what? God damn it! I can't make the storyboard do- There's lots of tension between my hands and the pencil, which is about to break when it snaps. It's abrupt and has some recoil. Here are some good examples from my previous work. If you ever get interested in fight scenes, then my advice would be to just experiment with your characters, and if it doesn't work like a punch not looking realistic, always try something different. I am definitely making more and better fight scenes in the future, and this video is more of me just explaining my view on fight scenes and object shows. I really want to try something with perspectives, but that's pretty dang advanced. Okay, bye.